next one up in the start gate, the rider from Russia, Anna Orlova. No stranger to the competition scene. She has paid her dues on the qualifying series for years. Some of the years really, really close to qualify, but then finally she's on and she is a force to be reckoned every stop. That's right. She was here competing at the four star a couple of years ago when it was a fight between her and Manu Mandel to get onto the Freyard World Tour. And I'm really glad to see that they're both on it now because they totally deserve to be here. The ripping Russian rider uh, showed me around her home resort of Shergesh, or in my home resort, but uh, a good resort that she likes to ride at. And sending ears like this, just at, like she did at that place, she does it at this place too. They're both powerful resorts with uh, nice ears to hit and transfers like that one. Really nice transfer for, from Anna there. Making great use of the terrain. That's what the judges love to see. Very confident riding. Yeah, and I'd say the difference between this one and Nicole's is that it's just been a bit faster. You know, like Nicole was stomping all those runs really solidly. Like every hit, she, boom, I take that, I'm strong. And then Anna's doing that as well, but just a little bit more confidently, just a little bit more smoothly. That's exactly what that fluidity uh, category is about. And so I think that the points she, she wins in the fluidity category will probably put her above Nicole, even though you're wondering, hey, they're both stomped big ears. You know, what's, what's the difference? I'd say that's what it is. Going to the steeper zone as well, the more gnarly... Uh, technical zone that a lot of the guys gears came unstuck in but Anna just flashing her way through it so far here we are in the very technical zone as you said where we have seen a lot of skiers and snowboarders going down already and she's cruising down that technical zone stomp dropping another drop so if she gets that one down I'm pretty sure we're gonna see a very solid score that Hard was a beat. really nice run Really, really nice run from the Russian ripper Anna Orlova. 78.33, there you go. Really, really good score for Anna. Travis Rice. Four-star winner two years ago. No event last year, so previous Japan big comp winner. Just if you are the one or two people in the world that don't know his name, just go and look it up. The fourth phase or the art of flight. And that's what we're going to see. A lot of here. speed coming the through here. Out of flight with a seven. Yeah. Beautifully stomped. And another grab. Already ripping down the space. He's halfway down and there's been no time with the seven already. Took so much speed into that hit. Are we surprised? No. Just excited. Cruising into the lower section. Already knowing that he has a big part of his solid score done. Now, he's not backing off at all. Here we got the spe steep section where other people had oh, some problems nice. with. Sticking it clean, still having a little bit of issue going for the back. Yes, he is making it! What a run. Oh my God. That was amazing. He ticked all the boxes to not only excite us, but definitely the judges. Travis Rice, 95 points. <laughs> We've got the defending world champ to come. Right. <laughs> and it's Victor De La Rue. He was our wild card this year, and he's got something to prove. He wants to get after it. Victor De La Rue, what's he got for us? Straight off the top of the ridge and high speed out of that. Yeah, that's how you start a run. Immediate action. And over, this is the first guy we've seen off the lightning bolt. A lot of guys talking about that in, uh, in inspection face check. Victor making it look easy. Yeah, really easy. It was uh, not an easy thing to do, and neither was that huge 360 he just floated. Cross court, that was exactly what you'd expect from Victor De La Rue, finding the things that the other people don't see. And look where he is. He's already down here at the final feature at the Peloton. And right off the nose, Victor De La Rue clean. Stopping it. Oh, that's what we were hoping to see from Victor De La Rue. The wild card is a wild card for a reason. He just threw down such a creative run. And we are seeing Marion Herchie dropping out of that V-start. Marion making her way across this super bony traverse, getting into the uh, far skiers left, riders left section. And then we've got the little, the T-bone chipping off the corner straight to her feet. And now this is the part of her run that she is going to absolutely love. That's right, lining up the same ear as Eric Vikander, I believe. Stomping that one too, going a little bit different angle off that. Maybe she's got a different feature lined up down the bottom. Skiing really fast, riding really fast down here. 
Yeah, Marion Herity now heading towards this bottom section. This is the bit that gave uh, gave Erica a little bit of trouble. We'll see if uh, if Marion is able to slide through there with a little bit a uh, little bit more ease. Kind of getting hung up. A little bit shocking there, unfortunately. It's been a bit of sides looking for both of the girls. Yeah, looking right now like Marion's just going to try to muscle through here. Yeah, I think that it's not as nice as it might have looked in inspection. And uh, they're both really strong riders and having a bit of a tough time getting down. So staying on her feet, yeah, impressive. She's, she's through clean. So we're going to see uh, we're going to see probably a little bit of a fluidity dock there because exactly. she did get a little bit hung up. But she stayed on her feet top to bottom, which is going to be, I think, uh, that's going to be to her benefit. The Flying Frenchman. I don't know why I started calling him that. We've called lots of other Frenchmen that, but he does fly this guy. Third ever will to a stop here. Won his second one in Canada only a few weeks ago. Taking that early drop in there, making his way across already with the style and absolutely charging. Look how fast he's going. And a three already. Wow, this is a heavy hitting run. He hasn't even got into the main part of his line yet. Taking that four line. Nice work off the Hoysel Cliff, named after Stefan Hoysel. And of course, no stranger to freeride as well as freestyle, Victor Delarue. If you haven't seen his movie Frozen Mind that came out this season, then you should watch it because it is unbelievable. And run right now is unbelievable too. Two threes already and charging through the section. Holy damn, this is hot speed. So corked out on that last one. And look, there's not a single turn there. Just a long, flowy, slight direction change. Looking like he's going to head down into the couloir zone. Maybe head for this classic jump. This one's uh, a bit of a favorite for the riders as it's got a nice little kick to it. Yeah, Victor heading across there. Another three. He, I'm losing track of his rotations. He must be getting dizzy up there. 1080. <laughs> this is a favorite hit as well. Seen tricks before, seen grabs before. And these bottom hits have actually seen people come unstuck before. So I'm glad to see Victor taking it cross court to find the training coming out hot. It's Marion Erti, and she is on course. That's right. As you're saying, guaranteed podiums now for Anna and Erica, not guaranteed for Maria. I'm sure Maria will be stoked to get a podium after two fourth-place finishes so far this season. But on course, and I would not be surprised to see her on the podium. Marion Erti going straight across to the lookers' right section, of course. She's a strong rider. It's a strong part of the venue, and it's exciting to get to a new part of the venue that we skipped the other parts of before. Yeah, so Marion looking at getting up on the ridge top into the uh into the same really steep and technical section that we saw anna and uh manu go into and really clean through there throwing a slash turn her slough just pouring over the edge this is looking good right now for marion archie she's ultra clean and really fast through there just ripping through it really strong riding you can see how her technique is playing to her advantage there and her strength uh, I assume she must do some kind of physical training to, to keep a core that strong because she really muscled her way through that top section and getting a grab in the next next hit as well. Yeah, so throwing the style element, Marion RT, definitely she's got, she's got I think, one of the most well-rounded blends of the big mountain technique, but also, you know, she's got great style. She's got those grabs and she's she's always looking to find a way to add some style element to uh, to the air, getting over into that, that far skier's left section or rider's left section of that air. So right now, Marion Archie making a strong case to put herself on the podium. That's right. It was a saying, previous uh, World Cup slopestyle rider bouncing away through there. Looks like it's a lot of fun. As we're saying, the snowboarders have really been enjoying this look as right side guys and the girls. Oh, look at that big slash turn. The snow just going up. They're going to be loving that up in the uh, up in the viewing area as that snow just hangs in the air, lit up by the sun. Ra Marion Archie there with another air Finding the way, finding the way to link up these natural rolling features. They just seem to suit the style of the snowboard riders really well right now. That's right. Got Mia Maria Noll, the photographer, in the helicopter, getting shots of that, and I reckon that's going to look sick. And so does Marion RT. Hands in the air, celebrating. She's stoked on her run. Marion RT is at the top. And if she wins here, she is 2019 Freeride World Tour champ. Marion Erti out of France, 2017 world champion, looking to take the title back today with a win. She could do it. Uh, Marcus Eder didn't manage to in the skiing guys. Victor De La Rue didn't manage to in the snowboarding guys. Will we crown a world tour winner here today? And Marion Erti starting off strong, taking that top here deep. 
Yeah, that was huge. Marion Hertz is showing that she means business here. She wants that title. She wants to stand on top of the podium. Of course, the other women who are currently down there are definitely looking to get involved. But Marion right now looking strong. That was a huge error off the top, and she is charging. Really fast run, fluid and smooth so far. Three big ears and stomping them straight to her feet. No hand down, no butt check. Putting a grab in off that one. A little bit tail heavy like a boss, just bouncing it like it's a park jump. Super smooth stuff here from the 2017 world champion of freeride snowboarding, Marion RT, and stomping that one clean too. Sun's out, guns out. <laughs> Marion Herty stamping her stamp of approval on this venue and getting another one of those mystery pops at the bottom. Such a strong run, super fast. Right, so back up to the top, Blake Ham. He's just such a such a, an amazing human and also an incredible snowboarder, so strong and stable. That's right. I think he was also unlucky to have missed out on that recap of who is in the title hunt because he's been doing so good this season. He could be there too. Switch 180, half cab off the top feature. First one to trick that. Oh, yeah, and a big three there from Blake, making his way through this technical section up on top, and he's going to move, move his way into this technical uh, couloir sort of section as he uh, as he finds his way over to some of the more riders' right feature. Another 180 there. Blake Ham really bringing the freestyle here. Yeah, that's right. Similar line to John Powell and Ludo so far, but different hits, same area, getting lots of hits, tricking most of them, enjoying the powder and another 360, backside 360 off that second to last hit. I wonder if he'll hit the same bottom feature as the other snowboarders we've had so far today. It looks like he is going to. He's approaching it, finding his way in as Blake Ham clean on the landing there. That's going to be a solid run for Blake Ham. He should be happy with that. Jonathan Penfield. I really, really like his style. He's got a great mix of solid big mountain charging with a bit of freestyle added in there as well. Biochemist out of the USA, out of Tahoe, now living in Canada. He's on course. Already going big, cross court over that cliff rock feature there. And turning it back into the full line, transferring as well. And another one as well with the 360. Jonathan Penfield, <laughs> what a way to get things started here. Three massive features already. Straight back into the fall line, looking to surf the spine on his way to his next features. This is blowing my mind, mate. Oh, yeah, he knows how to impress the judges with tricks and going another 360 up a huge ramp. Yeah, Beautiful really stomp. impressive stuff. The backside <laughs> three there from Jonathan. He's on a roll, man. Incredible stuff getting over above the exposure now. I'm not sure if you can quite see in the zoomed in version on your screen, but you do not want to be falling here. This is a super exposed technical part of the face. Getting over towards part of the girls' venue here and making the most of it really fast through that double. And what a way to open the guy's snowboarding. Jonathan Penfield, hands up. He's not even done. He's got another feature coming up. I've lost track. Yeah. Now he's really milking that, uh, that run. Final rider of the season of the snowboard women category is up, and she is already the Freyard World Tour champion of 2019. And Marion, she said apparently earlier that she is here to put down the run of her life. Oh, and she's going big already, right out of the start gate, shutting down speed on that open terrain there. Very smart riding. Really fast, Marion, as well as the Jack I rode through yesterday. And a 360 stomping it. Nice one from the freestyle original rider competing in the World Cup in freestyle previously, now having already won the Proud World Tour this year and in 2017. Solid run we're seeing here. And this is a big cliff she's lining up. This oh, is a huge yeah. nose. Are we going to see her send it as a double, maybe? A little bit of hesitation there, but now she's in the middle of this crazy double section. Yeah, Marion! Wow, what a technical section, and she cleared it perfectly. Not finished yet. She has to bring it down, but that's exactly the run she was looking for, the yeah. run of her life. 